Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be doing a very interesting problem if you are a beginner. So this problem tells us that we need to print the first n Fibonacci numbers. So basically we don't really need to print. Let me just tell you that we need to return it in the form of a data structure. Like we need to really insert it and return it. So, so here it is told the very first two terms are 1 and rest all the terms would be a summation of previous two terms. So here as you can see the very first term is 1 and the next term is also told as 1. And this term would be nothing but the sum of these two terms that is 2. And this term would be nothing but 2 plus 1 that is 3. And this term would be 2 plus 3 that is 5, 3 plus 5 that is 8, 5 plus 3 is equals to 13. So now the very first sample test case is n is equals to 5. So the very first 5 values would be 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Okay. And if n is equals to 7, this would be the result itself. So now if you observe, this is the very first, like if you observe this in the form of an array, this is the first index, this is the second index, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This is how you need to return for n is equals to 7. So what you can really do is, these two values are already given to us. And rest all values would be a summation of previous two. So we can just define something like f of 0 is equals to 1, f of 1 is equals to 1, and then we can start the loop from f is equals to f is equals to 2. And then we can simply say for if f of i is equals to f of i minus 1 and f of i minus 2. And that would be my solution itself. Now let us move to the coding part and then we would make more sense. So this is, so I would just name it as f because of this Fibonacci series name. And I would say f of size n. And then we would say f of 0 is equals to f of 1 is equals to 1. And then we would simply say for int i is equals to 2, i is less than n and i plus plus. And then we would say f of i is equals to f of i minus 1 added to f of i minus 2 itself. Okay. And then we would simply return the value of f. Now let us see if we make any sense or not. And yes, the very first sample test case is working here. So now let us try to submit this and see if we can get an AC or not. And yes, we got an AC. So talking about the time complexity of this problem, so we are calculating each value exactly once and at each point we are doing an arithmetic operation. So, that, so for one value, we are doing constant operation. So for n values, we would be doing n operation. Okay, because constants are ignored in big of n. So that's it for today. This is me, Siddharth Hazra, signing off. Thank you.